Hi, welcome to Silly Girl. My name is Rob Bohr. And in this episode, I'm going to do what we call a poor man's lobster. And to do this recipe, I'm going to use monkfish. Monkfish is a very ugly fish, I'll admit it. And I've cleaned this off a little bit. Got it from the shrimp guy here in Columbia, South Carolina. He has great seafood. I'd highly recommend him. And uh, so I've cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, and I'm ready to basically get this on the grill. But before I do that, to make it a poor man's lobster, I have butter already melted right here. And I have some cayenne pepper, some garlic powder inside of here, some black pepper that I've crushed up, um, and a little bit of salt. And I'll just mix that up, whisk it up a little bit, just like so. And we're going to use this as like a marinade to baste the fish as we cook it on the grill. And kind of last step, about a tablespoon of uh, uh, fresh lemon here. I'm just going to squeeze this in my hand, make sure I don't get the seeds in here. And even if I do get the seeds, it's okay. Uh, I'm not going to get it into the fish really at all. But I'm just going to squeeze that out just like so. A few seeds there. I'll just put in the sink. Go ahead and squeeze that. About a tablespoon. So I'll just squeeze that whole lemon. Oh, that'll be good. Just like so. And go ahead and whisk that together. And I'll preheat my grill to a high heat here. Get the fish out and get ready to marinate this on the grill. All right, I'm outside. I've got the grill set up at 400 degrees and I've got my butter in here already. And I will go ahead and spray down the grates just to make sure that the fish doesn't stick to the grill grates, right? So I'll grab the uh, monkfish and I know it's a little bit hotter on the back side, so I'm just going to lay it across just like this. What I'll do is I get started. I'm going to mix this butter and mixture together here and just go ahead and start putting this on there. That flame up, that's perfectly fine. That's that butter. Oh, that's going to taste delicious. Excellent flavor. It's going to be just like lobster when this is done. So I'll go ahead, maybe wait about a minute or two here, and then go ahead and uh, season it up again with this marinade. All right, it's been about eight minutes, and I've been basting this, you know, every cup, about a minute, minute and a half, just like so, and rotating a little bit. You know, the, the thicker part of the monkfish, you know, really the monkfish, this is a tail of that monkfish. So, and I'm just rotating around just like that, taking some of this marinade and putting it right on the fish. Oh, it's gonna give it just beautiful flavor when this is done. And again, it's going to taste like lobster. I'm going to use some uh, butter inside with a little bit of hint of garlic in it uh, to dip the fish in as well when I eat it. All right, it's been about 12 to almost 15 minutes here. Uh, you know, I keep rolling this around to make sure it's firm, and it is. It feels good. It feels just like a lobster would feel, like a lobster tail, and that's what you want. That's exactly what you want with a monkfish. Uh, it does not flake like a regular, like a cod or or a halibut, something like that. So it, it feels firm, that, that's what I'm looking for, that's perfect, so I'll go ahead and put it on the plate and take it inside. All right, the monkfish is inside here, the poor man's lobster, it's ready to go. And, and basically, I can just cut right into this. Oh, it's beautiful, just like that. And, and, and cut into the fish, grab a little bit here, and I have some garlic butter already melted right here, and go ahead. Wow, it's like lobster, it really is. It's amazing what you can do with monkfish. So subscribe to my YouTube channel and get the recipe at citygrill.com. Thanks.